everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artists and Power here, and in today's fun video, we're going to be talking about Victorinox Swiss Army Knives, more specifically, the collection and models and stuff I have from the company. So, really, really neat. A couple weeks ago, maybe even a few weeks ago, we posted the video where we sent my late grandfather's Huntsman model, a 70s era model, back to the factory to get it restored and back to showroom condition. And everybody kind of liked that video. So this is it. And it's still nice and shiny because I do not use this. This is very sentimental to me. But when I posted this video about the Huntsman's restoration, everybody was commenting and even family was commenting like, do I have an interest in collecting more models? And what models do I have or do I not have? And what models do I want? Now, I have always been fascinated with the Victorinox story, you know, going all the way back, all the way up to present day, where they ha now have colognes, they have clothes, they have luggage, they have watches. So they have evolved way more than a pocket multi-tool, and they are my everyday carry, my EDC. I always have one on hand, and I'm going to showcase my whole collection in this video, and I'm going to try to make it brief just to let everybody know what I currently have as of now. And as I get more models, I will, of course, do more videos like this if I get enough to make another video like this. If not, I will always post them on all of my social media feeds. But my original Swiss Army knife that I actually went out and purchased and ordered was a Fieldmaster. And the main reason I bought the Fieldmaster was me being a woodworker and liking to put things together and sometimes having to take things apart. I did not see no use for the corkscrew that was on my late grandfather's Huntsman model. So this one, the only difference is, is it has the Phillips head screwdriver where the corkscrew would be on a Huntsman model. And this is my tried and true model. It has been beaten up. It's weather beaten. You know, I carry this all the time and a lot during the summer because I wear basketball shorts out here in the workshop because of the heat and humidity of the south. So this was the original one and I love it and I carry it with me all the time. And if I do not have that one, my mom last Christmas picked up for me the Swiss Champ. And this is a mighty multi-tool. And the more I use this knife the more I carry it and find new ways to use it. The other day I was at a friend's house and we were looking up parts numbers for a scroll saw that he had and I had to actually get out the magnifying glass to read some of the smaller like you know tedious like details in the model numbers and all and I use the pliers all the time and I find these very handy as well as the file I am a bad nail biter and I will sit there with the file and file my nails while I sit at a restaurant or something or out in public like walking through a store or something and some people say that this knife is too much compared to how thin other traditional Swiss Army knives is but this knife fits in the watch pocket of jeans and if it can fit in that small pocket I have never considered this knife to be way too big or bulky but other people's opinions may vary about it so anyway I love the Swiss Champ I haven't done no modifications to it or any of my Swiss Army knives like I've seen on YouTube now but that is the Swiss Champ and now the next knife I picked up was the classic SD edition and I got this up at the Clingspore Woodworking Show when we went to the Cary store anniversary back in early September and this is clipped onto my book bag you guys know I carry a book bag with me everywhere I have water in it I have my charging cables and of course I have my cameras I'm filming more and more content for the channel daily and I always want to have my cameras with me just in case so the classic SD knife which is the most popular knife it seems that everybody carries is clipped onto my book bag and you can see here judging by another Swiss Army knife it is very miniature and this is good to keep on a keychain or your keys or even down in your pocket you know or in a pocketbook if you're a lady so really really neat love the classic SD model and I got this for around 20 bucks at the clean sport store if anyone was interested and then my next pickup while I was on vacation I went into a sword shop and they had some pocket knives on display and they had the meek mechanics model excuse me and they had it and it was closed up and I took a picture of it they had fifty dollars on it and all this is US currency if anyone was interested and what happened was I took a picture of it and posted it to the Victorinox reddit group asking was fifty dollars worth it and everybody was saying if that's the pliers on that side if you can get them to open the case and flip it over and it has the all in the Phillips head it is a mechanics model and it's been discontinued and it's harder and harder to find and I'm happy to report that this model is in pristine condition the knife is still extremely sharp and none of the pieces are like you know very bad off and no dings or scratches or anything so I'm happy to have the mechanics model and a smaller knife that has the pliers in my possession 
Next, when I was cleaning up in the attic before we went up to the woodworking extravaganza, I went up there to look for something else, and I found my old collection of knives, and I found this Swiss Army knife, and I had no idea I even had this, or I'd have done had it out and cleaned it up. And this is the executive model. It has the orange peeler on it there. It has the file with the nail cleaner on it, and from what I've heard after I posted this, this has also been discontinued, and this one has something cool stamped on the back. It says, Willard J. Moody Senior Legal Legal Counsel. So that is stamped on that side. And this is the only knife I currently have that has the black scales on it. And there you see the actual Victorinox logo on it. But this is the executive model. And that is all I had. And then my late grandfather also had a knockoff Victorinox. And I think it's key if you're going to collect these knives and your friends want to help you collect these knives to have a couple knockoffs to where you can show people how to tell a real genuine Swiss Army knife as opposed to a fake one and this one here as you can tell does not have the actual logo of the real true blue Victorinox knife the real McCoy as my grandparents would say and this one is just I hope that comes up on camera is stamped stainless made in China on it so of course you know this is not a genuine vis Swiss Army knife so again I think it's essential if you're going to get into collecting to have some knockoffs I have some knockoff Hot Wheels cars that I show my friends like look if you see this this is not a genuine deal you know and I try to help people who are collectors and I also have two small knockoff classic SD knives these do not even have any logos or stamps on them so you know they're knockoffs and then me and my buddy Sam at Knighthood Creations who I hang out with all the time and who has taught me so much in the woodworking aspect of everything we were at the local antique store and I picked up two Swiss Army knives for twelve dollars again US currency and I got a super tinker model and a camper model and as you can see I paid four dollars right there it's on the tag for the camper model and I've yet to clean these up because I wanted to show them on film before I went about the cleaning process and they were just laying in the case and I was like hey twelve bucks I've got to get them and then the super tinker here is eight dollars as you can see and again I went to the reddit form, the reddit form of Victorinox and they said the super tinker with the size of the key ring and the screwdriver and all on it it looked to be a like a 90s era super tinker and now the camper model here they said by the way it looked could possibly possibly be a late 60s or early 70s model so I'm happy to have these in my possession and have those now I have some other Swiss Army knife stuff that is not catered to the knives I did pick up some of their cologne when it was on sale and this is called Victorinox Swiss Army Steel and it's a great cologne the scent lasts about all day but I will tell you it's a summer smell so it's got a very citrusy aroma to it so I will not be wearing this cologne as much into the winter months and the colder months and I'll probably start wearing it again in the spring. I love colognes and I like to smell good and everything but the bottle does indeed have a nice big probably two inch Victorinox steel logo on the glass bottle and when the cologne's used up hopefully I can pop that logo off and put it on a pendant for a necklace or something because I like to represent what I collect. You guys know I wear the mechanics ring there because this is the only ring I could find that would represent that I'm like a maker or tinkerer out in the workshop or make stuff with my hands and everybody always asks if I'm a mechanic and I'm not. And I also have a Victorinox t-shirt I picked up off eBay. It was less than $20 American. Now I also have some books up at Clingspore when I bought the classic SD knife here I picked up Swiss Army Knife Woodland book here. And I got both of these on the same day and this book retails for $12.99 American and it's packed with some amazing info and some brief history of the Victorinox brand. I would like to actually have a book that just had the whole brand's history and a like a comprehensive list of all the knives that are out at any given day and then have it like updated every year. And then Fox Chapel Publishing who sends me woodworking books know and found out that I collected Swiss Army knives by me using them in some of my videos and seeing them in my post and all. They sent me these two books, Woodland and the Wild Swiss Army Knife, 30 plus fun and useful things to make out of wood, and also Swiss Army Knife, Camping and Outdoor Survival Guide, 101 Tips, Tricks, and Uses. And I really love this book, and this is the one I've been reading because at the beginning it's got a brief history again of the knife, and then it's also got a 
little comprehensive list of some of the amazing models that Victorinox is, produces and I would love to get this skipper model here you know just because I am a pirate and I love the ocean and the sea and boats and all that just to have that maritime flair with my Swiss Army Knife collection but I'd love to see a total book laid out like this showing everybody what each knife is and what it represents and everything and now that's the actual collection that I have but I've also done some 3D printing the first thing I 3D printed was something for my Fieldmaster knife to go on and you know I, I like model railroading particularly the HO scale of model railroading so I printed out this little caddy here and this was a free file on Thingiverse and I added the Victorinox logo here so these are two separate files on Thingiverse and this is supposed to be like a keychain so I just cut the key ring off of it and glued it to the back of it to where the Fieldmaster can lay in it and then lay on a flatbed train car and then it can go around my layout I'm kind of a nerd like that you know I just thought it would be really cool to represent all my loves in one thing of course I've got Hot Wheels cars on my model train layout as well so there's that and it does have the Victorinox name on the side there and I painted this up and then the next thing I 3D printed was this caddy that holds five Swiss Army knives and I've got five so far so it is full so I might be making another one of these again this is a free file on Thingiverse and you see it comfortably holds the knives there is the mechanics model the field master and the Swiss champ and the Swiss champ doesn't really come up above everything and I line the bottoms with felt to keep the scales from being scratched and everything and then the last thing I 3d printed and this is before I went to the extravaganza this was about a 20 hour print was this staircase here that holds the knives as well I have yet to paint this but you can see here how the knives would just comfortably lay on this and be displayed in that unique way if you have 10 of the thinner style knives I don't think the champ would fit on this but you can see how these steps are beveled you know to where they won't slide down or tip over so I'm really looking forward to painting this and getting it clear coated and everything to have everything on it but really really neat that is my entire Swiss Army collection as of right now and I plan to collect more and I would like to hear from you guys is there a model out there that you see that I don't have and I know I don't have several but is there a model that you think me being a woodworker that I should have like I should essentially pick it up but I hope you guys have liked this video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon